If you're a fan of raw power and classic style, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of 44 Magnum revolvers, the epitome of sheer force and timeless elegance. So join us as we take a closer look at the top contenders in the world of 44 Magnum revolvers. Colt Anaconda Colt recently revived the Anaconda and Big Bore cousin of the Python, and the qualities that made the original highly collectible after its relatively short production run make the modern version an attractive buy. With a series of improvements over the first model, this now sits comfortably at the head table of the 44 Magnum revolver world. Occupying the same niche as the Smith & Wesson N-Frame and Ruger Redhawk, the Colt Anaconda is a large-frame, double-action, single-action, six-shot revolver aimed squarely at those who want the power of a 44 Magnum hunting handgun. Sure, you could blink away to your heart's content with reduced loads and 44 specials, but the big snake really wakes up when you offer it full house ammo. The frame has been augmented compared to the original, with a redesigned firing mechanism for greater durability and an amazing trigger pull for a factory revolver. It has an adjustable rear sight and pinned front ramp sight. Hogue rubber grips come standard. The frame is also drilled and tapped for optics, so it can be used by handgun hunters. Full-length underlug and vented rib add mass to the barrel and shift the point of balance toward the muzzle to dampen recoil. The modern Anaconda comes tapped for scope mount as well, and can be had with either a 6 or 8 inch barrel. In terms of effectiveness in the field, the Colt Anaconda works well, and we'd be happy to carry it in the woods this fall for deer, black bear, or hogs. Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan The Super Red Hawk Alaskan offers rock solid build quality and the reliability of a double action wheel gun. With its 2.5 inch barrel, this gun is far more portable than larger Super Red Hawks, but with a weight of 44 to 45 ounces, the Red Hawk Super Alaskan still handles recoil effectively. The oversized Hogue Tamer monogrip is comfortable and offers complete control over the gun. And the triple locking cylinder design allows this durable wheel gun to handle hot, high power bear loads without breaking down. Chambering options include 44 Rem Mag, 454 Castle, and 480 Ruger, all of which offer substantial bear stopping power. The Ruger certainly qualifies as a hand cannon, but it's exceptionally rugged and manageable to shoot, making it a solid option for bear defense. Magnum Research BFR if you're looking to make a statement, you should check out the Magnum Research BFR. The standard 44 Magnum BFR sports a 5.5 inch barrel, but the company will accommodate requests to go shorter or longer, up to 10 inches. The serrated hammer spur has been positioned higher to avoid digging into the web of the hand at full cock, and the trigger is smooth, nicely rounded, and entirely missing any sharp rear edges that can cut or scrape a trigger finger. Speaking of grip, this one is a collaboration between Magnum Research and Hogue. It's a one-piece oversized black rubber grip with a pebble grain texturing and the Magnum Research logo on both sides. These guns are built to handle a lifetime of hot loads and heavy recoil. This solid stainless steel revolver closes in at 54 ounces, and all that weight comes in a hefty package. Additionally, cocking action on this gun is extremely smooth and very light, with a crisp trigger pull to match. In terms of accuracy, don't be surprised to get less than 2 inches groupings at over 25 yards. You can definitely hone it in with more than enough time at the range. All that weight does wonders for recoil, and it feels really good to shoot for a 44 Magnum revolver. Smith & Wesson Model 629 The Smith & Wesson Model 629 is a heavy-duty 44 Magnum revolver that's the perfect protection for city and country. The 629 is built on Smith & Wesson's end frame which is well suited for recoil and pressures associated with the 44 Magnum. The gun has a bright, polished stainless steel finish, with the familiar Smith & Wesson logo on the left side just below the cylinder catch. Up front, the gun sports a blued steel ramp sight with a bright orange insert that demands attention when aiming. The rear sight is also blued steel and is adjustable for both windage and elevation by turning adjustment screws. The trigger has a polished, wide face that encourages a smooth, consistent trigger press when shooting the revolver double action. The double action trigger pull measures 13.5 pounds, whereas the single action breaks crisply at just under 4 pounds with a bit of over travel. 
One feature that makes the Model 629 so versatile is that not only will it handle the most powerful 44 Magnum loads, it can also safely fire 44 Special cartridges. The 44 Special not only generates considerably less recoil, making it pleasant to shoot for fun or practice, it is also a popular self-defense round with ballistics about the same as those of the revered 45 ACP. The Model 629 can be a very accurate gun in the right hands, and is capable of delivering tight groups. Ruger Redhawk The Ruger Redhawk is the company's large-frame, double-action revolver. It comes with a stainless steel finish and wood or rubber grips, depending on the model. Partridge-style sights are standard, with a red ramp insert on the front sight. Options include either a 5.5-inch or 7.5-inch barrel, with wood grips or a 4.2-inch barrel with a hoe grip sleeve. The Red Hawk is built like a tank and makes for a fine working gun that should last a lifetime. If you plan on shooting a ludicrous amount of full-power 44 Magnum through your gun, Ruger also offers the Super Red Hawk line, which features beefier frames and an integral mounting for scope rings if you prefer an optic. Korth NXS The NXS is a very distinctive-looking revolver with aggressive mill cuts lots of rail space, and a two-tone finish. If traditional styling is your thing, this may not be the gun for you. This 357 Magnum brings an 8-shot cylinder to the table, and it's cut to accept moon clips with barrel length options of 4 or 6 inches. The NXS barrel is cold hammer forged from 416R stainless steel and threaded into the frame. The ribbed, railed, and scalloped steel shroud fits over the barrel precisely and is actually installed first. The fully adjustable rear sight comes standard while the front sight features removable side panels to offer shooters the ability to customize their sights for any situation. Thanks to the unique lockwork and hand fitting, the NXS's trigger is absolutely amazing. The 8.5 pound double action pole is the smoothest that I've ever experienced and it is consistent throughout the hammer's travel. There's no stacking, staging, or hesitation. The single action trigger was clean and consistent at two and a half pounds with zero creep. Designed in collaboration with Jim Wilson, the grip includes three finger grooves and a flare near the top that provides a comfortable thumb rest. Finally, rail sections are present to allow the mounting of either a red dot sight or a magnified handgun scope. Shooting the NXS was pure pleasure thanks to the weight, balance, and grip design. Even full-power Magnum loads were comfortable to shoot. The handgun came perfectly zeroed, which allowed me to focus on shooting the smallest groups that I could. It was quickly apparent that this is an incredibly accurate handgun. Priced at $5,299, I'm fully aware that the amount of money you have to pay to own this handgun is unrealistic for most of us. But I hope everyone can appreciate learning about the NXS.